Hello and welcome to my video. To celebrate the European Football Championship, I thought it would be fitting to discuss five critical mistakes entrepreneurs make that could earn them a red card in business. Now there's no debate in it. If you make any of these mistakes, you need to stop and reconsider your actions. Ignoring these issues will undoubtedly catch you out in the long run, potentially halting your business for good. Let's see if you can avoid getting red carded by the end of this video. Mistake number one, not understanding your market. If you think your product or service is for everyone, I have a big red card for you. Stop kidding yourself. Your product simply isn't for everyone. If you try to sell to everyone, you sell to no one. Identify who needs your product or service the most, then laser focus your marketing on those people. Scattershot approaches are expensive and ineffective. Successful businesses target a well-defined market with specific needs and pain points. Conduct thorough market research to identify your ideal customer, including demographics, interests, buying behaviors, and challenges. Now you can use surveys, focus groups, and competitor analysis to build a buying persona that informs your marketing and product development efforts. I've created a buying persona that you can use in your business too. It's free and easy to use. Download it below. Mistake two, flying blind on finances. This is a straight red card, no discussion. Most business owners aren't accountants, but that doesn't mean you can ignore the numbers. Here's the brutal truth. Underestimating your expenses is a fast track to shutting down your business. Get real about your costs. Create a budget you stick to and track your numbers like your life depends on it, because it kind of does. Poor financial management is the leading cause of business failure. Without a clear understanding of your finances, you won't know if your business is profitable or headed for trouble. Develop a financial plan that includes your costs, projected revenue and expenses, and a break-even analysis. Check out below this video my four spreadsheets I believe are essential for every business. To work faster and more precisely, I suggest you check out as well some cloud-based accounting software such as Xero or QuickBooks to simplify expense tracking and financial reporting. Mistake three, lack of planning. Many entrepreneurs, they launch businesses driven by passion and a great idea but neglect to create a solid plan to achieve their dreams. Do you know, passion alone, it won't pay the bills. Start with a plan. What do you want to achieve? Who is your ideal customer? How will your business actually function? Write it down, even if it's messy. Your plan should outline your business goals, target market, marketing strategy, financial projections, and operational processes. This should be a living document you revisit and update regularly as your business evolves. To help you easily create a plan, I've attached a step-by-step -step guide for developing a professional business plan. Like the previous materials, you can find it below this video. Now you will earn a red card if you make mistake number four, which is thinking that building a great product is enough. A fantastic product is only half the equation. You need a well-defined marketing strategy to reach your target audience and generate interest. Speak your audience's language. Craft a clear and compelling message that resonates with your ideal customer. What are their needs and desires? How does your product solve their problems? Explore channels like social media, content marketing, email marketing, SEO, or PR to effectively reach your target audience. Consider your budget and target market when choosing your mix. There's no one size fits all marketing approach. And one last thing on this topic, do not neglect creating valuable content, blog posts, videos, infographics that educate your audience. Content is king. Mistake five, not delegating enough. Being a jack of all trades. Now that's an instant red card. And you might wanna book a doctor's appointment while you're at it. Entrepreneurs wear a lot of hats, but at some point, that hat collection gets ridiculous, leading to some serious health problems such as burnout, chronic stress, and depression. There's a fine line between dedication and delusion. As your business expands, delegate tasks and hire people who are better at certain things than you are. 
Focus on your strengths and let your team shine. Delegation isn't a weakness, it's strategic leadership. Identify tasks that can be effectively handled by others. See, this frees you up to focus on your core strengths and bigger picture thinking. Be honest about your skill set. What are you exceptional at? What makes you want to crawl under a rock? Now delegate the rock crawling tasks and focus on shining in your areas of expertise. Recruit talented individuals who complement your skill set. Hire people who are better at certain things than you are. That's the whole point. When delegating tasks, provide clear direction and expectations, but trust your team to execute. Micromanaging stifles creativity and initiative. These were the most common mistakes I see in entrepreneurs. Remember, these are not just warnings, they're potential red cards that could sideline your business. Ignoring them risks long-term setbacks that could even lead to closure. From not understanding your market to flying blind on finances and from lacking a solid plan to underestimating the importance of marketing, each mistake carries weight. As you navigate your entrepreneurial journey, seek guidance, refine your strategies, and above all, prioritize your business's sustainability and growth. Avoid those red cards and you'll be on the track for success. Thank you once again for tuning in.